Welcome to uh, Let's Look at What's in the Box for Seven Wonders Duel. Uh, a very good used copy of Seven Wonders Duel. You can see that, my apologies, um, with all the scuff marks on it. It, it, is, it was one of my original and most favourite games, two-player games. Um, so let's have a look. Let's uh, get straight into it. So again, you can just uh, see past some of the scuff marks on the edges that are there. Uh, it is actually a very nice picture, and you can imagine that on a on a newer box, how good that would look on your shelf. Uh, very used. Let's look at the sides. We've got there one side. We've got uh, um, what looks like a, a warrior there, and a very thoughtful person on the left hand side. Uh, over to the other side, a nice scenic or panoramic uh, view. Uh, this side we can put in a board game shelving that way up uh, with all the relevant stats that you see there and our final side like that looking on the very back or underside you can see there a bit of a blurb about seven wonders duel what it's about we can see some of the cards that you have and also the layout of the board uh, as it comes out, including some of the wonders there, such as the Circus Maximus that you can see there. And you can just read the Hanging Gardens down there. So it is a very simple game. It's a very good game, very quick game, uh, easy to understand. Seven Wonders Duel. Let's open it up. Uh, just plain part cardboard on the inside uh, box cover. So nothing to write home about there. Put that off to one side. First of all, we have the rules. And it is a, a glossy sheet, as you can see there by the glossiness of it all. Uh, very well set out. You've got the, the contents of what you actually get in the box. You can pause that one, have a look, just to confirm that what we see uh, in the box is in fact what you get in the box. Uh, have a visual or pictorial layout of what's in the box, the overview and object of the game. Game elements, uh, the, tells you about the cards, the board, the coins that you get with this. Uh, preparation, uh, wonders selection phase, and one deck per age. We'll go through that when we look at what's in the box in a moment. Look, uh, get a, um, go through everything one by one or bit by bit. The game overview that is there, uh, ending and age. Uh, we have the military science and progress explained in a little bit more detail on that page. End of game and victory conditions, as well as credits. We then get into descriptions of the symbols uh, on all of the pieces and that is always very handy to explain a little bit more and a little bit more detail all the symbolism that you see uh, on game components as you play the game. It tells you a bit more in depth about the guild cards, how to interpret them and the wonders as well, how to interpret them. There's a list of cards uh, for all the ages, age one, two and three and the guilds, the colours and the special bits on them. Again, age one, age two and age three and how they all link up when you've got one which will allow you to go through and get another card more or less for free if you have its previous one. And finally, on the last page, 20 pages long, uh, we have the organization of the card board, depending on the age. So age one looks like that, age two like that, age three looks like that, face up cards white, face down cards with their colored backs. So that's the rule book. Uh, we have a very quick cheat sheet that we can see there that summarizes everything so you don't have to go through the rule book. Hopefully once you've read the rule book, you'll be able to just look at this cheat sheet and understand it uh, fairly simpl simply or simplistically. It is uh, a reasonably thick card, double-sided. You can see here on this other side of the help sheet. We have a little bit of advertising. So coming soon, Seven Wonders looks like it's... Uh, on a tablet version there and also ghost stories uh, that you can see there the online shop and all the goodies that you can get there by repos or repos productions uh, that obviously make this game let's quickly go through this they have ghost stories they have concept they have city of horror terror in, terror in meeple city Masquer masquerade and masquerade expansion seven wonders uh, the original Seven Wonders Companion, Seven Wonders Leaders and Seven Wonders Cities. There is a new Seven Wonders out which you won't find in this 
um, booklet. Uh, the Seven Wonders Wonder Pack, the Seven Wonders Babel Expansion, Seven Wonders Duel, which we are looking at right now. Let's just quickly look there so we can see it being advertised. Uh, cash and Guns, and there we go, just uh, some other stuff you can get there. Goodies, t-shirts, and promo cards. Okay, now into the game components itself. We have this board, uh, and this board is, contains the... Uh, military uh, for both sides and that will go along the middle there um, the victory points as far as you get on the military track um, uh, place for tokens up there which are special tokens you can see there how the military is has this dotted line you might be able to see that there hopefully on your screen so if you end up pushing into the opponent's military between those two dotted lines you'll get five victory points at the end um, and you win if you push them all the way to the end, so that's something to look for. Uh, in the game, the, the reverse side is just black and it folds in half. Let's have a look at some of the wonder cards. So these are the wonders on the, the backs. All the backs look the same. The wonders that we have here are the Sphinx, the Temple of Artemis, the Hanging Gardens, the Colossus, the Great Library, the Appian Way, the Pyramids, the Statue of Zeus, Piraeus, the Mausoleum, the Great Lighthouse, and the last wonder is Circus Maximus. So uh, the, along the left-hand side is the cost to, to buy uh, the particular wonder, and the benefit is on the right. Okay, so there they are the actual wonders. Put them on that side. These are the guild cards. They're all purple on one side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Let's look at those just quickly. We have the Ship Owners Guild, the Scientist Guild, the Magistrates Guild, the Merchants Guild, the Moneylenders Guild, the Tacticians Guild, and the Builders Guild. So those are all the Guild cards. At the top, uh, we have the benefit. Just underneath that, we have the cost for the card. They are the Guild cards. Uh, we have this token here, which I'll pull out next, actually. You could paint this up if you wanted to. Uh, it might actually look a whole lot better, obviously, if it, if it was painted up. And there is enough detail that you could paint that one up quite happily. Uh, I'm happy with it being red. That is, the, as I said, the tracker which just goes in these places and gets pushed along for military. Um, and we might be able to see here, maybe, maybe not. Oh, okay. Military, so you can see there how it matches up with the military icon there, the two icons there for military. So we've gone through... A uh, number of the cards. Let's go through the rest of what's in the box. I'm going to pull out this pad. So this is the scoring pad uh, that you have, and each of the scoring sides is actually single-sided. Uh, you can see plenty of paper there, and I'm sure if you go to their website, you would be able to get more scoring pads or buy a new one. You'd probably laminate that or print one off yourself or uh, photocopy it at home if you've got a color printer or even black and white. Let's go through these cards. We'll actually go through this uh, level one deck first, age one. We've got one, two, and three. You can see there where I'm pointing. And I like the fact they've got um, these little finger holes which allow you to pull them out very easily. So the age one deck is all brown. You can see there. Let's go through them quickly. Uh, at the top, we have the benefit, we have the cost written alongside. This would be one gold to buy. We have the press, the glassworks, the lumber yard, the stone pit, the quarry. I do like the artwork, and these cards feel really good, actually. Uh, clay pool, clay pit, logging camp, palisade, guard tower, garrison, Stable, Workshop, Apothecary, Pharmacist, Scriptorium, Tavern, Wood Reserve, Stone Reserve, Clay Reserve, Theatre, Altar, 
and the barbs. Put them right down the bottom there. Level two, age two cards. They are all blue backed, as you can see there. Have a picture of what looks like the side of the Colosseum there. Turning them over, going through them, we have the drying room, the glass blower, shelf quarry, sawmill, brickyard, horse breeders, barracks, archery range, parade ground, walls, school, laboratory, library, dispensary, caravansary, forum, customs house, brewery, temple, rostrum, statue, tribunal, and the aqueduct. And our level three cards, which will finish off the cards that you get in the box. We have the fortifications, circus, siege workshop, courthouse, arsenal, university, observatory, academy, study, chamber of commerce, arena, port, armory, lighthouse, Senate, Obelisk, Pantheon, Gardens, Palace, and the Town Hall is the last one. And I love the pictures, just very simple pictures on all of these. They're all different, which is something else, you know, I love about games. Um, and the pictures, just, just uh, they are evocative of what it actually is, what the card represents, Chamber of Commerce. You can see there a nice chamber, the arena with the gladiator, uh, the port, so all photorealistic uh, artwork as well. I'm going to put uh, those level three cards back. I'm going to put the level two cards back and the level one cards back in their nice slots in uh, this insert. So it is a well thought out insert because uh, you can see here, hopefully you can see here how this is shaped and you can see just the outline here where it actually sits in quite nicely just there. And again, a nice little finger hole slot for you to pull that out nicely. Finally, we have uh, all the coins and these are cardboard uh, tokens, uh, which uh, I think came out of a, a punch board, uh, representing one, three, six uh, pieces of uh, units of money. We also have, as I said before, we have some special green tokens. We have philosophy, we have urbanism, we have agriculture and strategy. Also, this one is theology. We have masonry and mathematics. And a couple more I can see here at the very least. go we have law economy and architecture uh, and these go on um, this board here in these slots you can see that's two uh, we go on the two slot like that and get two coin uh, when you get that five coin or lose five coin I'm not too sure which uh, rewind the video have a look um, when you get it so I shouldn't say things I'm, I can't quite remember when I played it, but I do love this game. It's been a while since I played it. Uh, you can see there all the tokens that, that come out. Plenty there for uh, two players. And that is what's in the box for Seven Wonders Duel. Thank you for joining me on this look at what's in the box. Uh, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like if you liked what you saw in the box and it helped you in any way. Uh, share it with your friends also and have fun gaming. My name is Lamond signing off. Thank you for joining me.